All right, deadheads, so I get this package in the mail, right? I'm not expecting any packages. I didn't order anything, so I'm thinking maybe somebody sent me something. Look at the address, and it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It says the sender's name is Woodbury, so I don't know what the hell's going on. I opened it up, and I was like, holy shit, is that creepy? Because this is what's in it. Look at that. <laughs> Look how disgusting that is. I'm going to take a picture. This way it's very high def. I'll show you right now the stamp on the envelope. I'll show you what it looks like. Now the, the stamp in the corner says Town of Woodbury, Georgia. The last little town on earth. And just by the stamp on here, it got me thinking, whatever this is, it came from somebody that has to do with The Walking Dead, like a fan or somebody. I don't know yet. I, I have no clue who sent this. Now, people tell me there's like a, a souvenir shop in Georgia. This could be somebody who was visiting, bought maybe a souvenir or something, and then sent it. But this has got to be one of the coolest packages I have ever seen. It actually looks like a post-apocalyptic message or letter. You know what I mean? It looks like an authentic letter straight out of the world of The Walking Dead. This has got to be one of the coolest things I've ever seen, and I just can't wait to see what's inside it. So let's take a look. That's not what I was expecting at all. What in the hell is this? Did you hold on, honey. I hold on now. Cause now I don't even know. Honey, don't touch it. Now it all looks dusty and dirty. Is this a joke? That's hail. That's weird. That's gotta be a joke. Nobody's Go gonna pay money to send you a joke. Okay, you guys can go in and play now. Oh, we figured out. That's what? weird. What's going on? That's weird. All right, so listen, deadheads. I, I just had to, to stop the filming. I had my daughter out here. Uh, um, she was touching shit. At first, I'll be honest with you, I thought it was something that maybe uh, Skybound has sent out. You know what I mean? For, uh, like a thank you card, you know, for doing Walking Dead videos. Or maybe like a fan appreciation on some real shit. I'm not even going to lie because I didn't order anything. I have no idea who sent that. It was from Woodbury. We all know Woodbury from the comic and the TV show. And it had the Woodbury stamp on it. But then, not only does it come wrapped in this realistic, uh, you know, post-apocalyptic letter with their own stamp, their own seal. And it's got like blood on it and everything. I mean, this thing is ridiculously awesome. For somebody who grew up loving apocalyptic shit, I'd love this. It wasn't until I opened it, however, that I was like, well, now what the fuck is that? <laughs> because... You know, you guys seen it was wrapped up in this little stuff. Then there was like the, a letter. I was so shocked. I don't even remember how it came in. But this is all scrunched up. It's a letter torn in half. There's blood all over it. It's dated like it's old. It, it has the Woodbury town stamp or whatever on the top. The last little town on earth. It's all bloody. And it has a quote that maybe I was too freaked out to remember this from the show or the comic. But it says... I don't even know if it makes sense. And castles too, for them, the road, this is a march to survival. This is how it came. Letter like this. Scrunched up with a piece of hair. I'd feel a little bit more comfortable if this was like Penny's hair. But yeah, a piece of hair with blood on the, the shit. The band or whatever. 
and that looks like real hair. I don't know what fake hair looks like, but yeah, you got this bloody hair. I'll be honest with you, this shit is so creepy. If it didn't have that little town of Woodbury, I wouldn't even be touching this. I probably shouldn't even be touching this. It comes with this key, a rusted, old looking real, you know, skeleton key, I guess they, they're called. And some Blair Witch shits. This, I don't know what's written on the back of it, but it's this mock Polaroid looking picture of an old creepy house with bloody fingerprints on the picture. Like this is for real, for real. Now listen, this pack, and that's all. By the way, no, 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 haha, -ha, gotcha. And to be honest with you, nothing jumped out other than that stamp as The Walking Dead. And I think that's because most of it just, it really caught me off guard here. I was like, what is this shit, man? So listen, I'm gonna put this video together and I'm gonna look into this. But I had like the, the kids here, like my niece and nephew and my daughter, and everyone was like, oh, at first. And then once I opened it and I was like, I. I turned around, I was like, yo, did you send this? Because I got a bunch of family, we're all going to go out to lunch and everyone's hanging out. And I was like, did you send this as a joke, you know? And they were like, no, this we have no idea what this is. So yeah, key um, photo of this creepy little house. I don't even know what the hell this could be. It reminds me of that little cabin the governor found where the guys... Uh, the head, the they had the heads beheaded and shit. Remember the liar, rapist, and everything like that. It reminds me of that little cabin. But it's got a cabin, a key, a little lock of hair, maybe Penny's hair. I don't know. And then this letter. This is all stuffed together inside this paper letter. I'm telling you what, it all looks authentic as hell. So whatever this is, <laughs> bravo, because it looks fan freaking tastic. As long as there's no anthrax on it. You know, I'm happy, but I just don't know. <laughs> More to come.